Hey everybody, welcome to the channel. My name is Todd, and in this video, uh, one of my all-time favorite chefs, Gordon Ramsay, um, does a tutorial of the best burger tutorial. It's not actually in this video, but uh, look it up. It's on YouTube elsewhere. I think they did it on Good Morning America. At any rate, I want to do my own version of it, and uh, I got an epic fail in there after doing all the prep and everything. I forgot something, so... If you know what it is, go ahead, comment down below, like the video, and we'll see you. Hey, welcome back to the channel. If you're new, my name is Todd Devers behind the camera. Today we're going to do the Gordon Ramsay Perfect Burger Tutorial, our version of it. Okay, as you see here, we're going to start with some good prime ground chuck. And uh, we've let this set up for a few hours, a uh, little bit of egg in there. Um, if you can, set it up overnight in the fridge, form it, that way you take it out the next day and it's, uh, it's nice and firm. Uh, the way Gordon Ramsay does this, uh, he puts some ground brisket in there as well with some uh, really high quality chuck. Uh, I didn't have a butcher do this, so there's no brisket in here, but it's pretty close. So, first thing we want to do here, get, and see, get, and get them seasoned up, both sides. And turn over. Really important to season these. Coarse ground salt and pepper. And let them sit a little bit. Another thing Gore Ramsey does is he hits it a little bit with some olive oil. That's a personal choice, but if you want to do it, go for it. That'll really help with uh, searing these burgers on the grill. Okay, so we want to get that grill really hot. Uh, so I've cleaned the grates, I've oiled them up, seasoned them a little bit, and it's it's really hot. Just about as hot as you can get it. We'll take a little reading here. So I got IR plates on this side, and I'm looking at just about 550 on the left side. 570, about 550 on the left side, and that's just right. Okay, once we season it up with some uh, salt and pepper, I'm going to put on a really hot grill. Grills tend to be really hotter toward the back, so I'm going to stick them on there. Now, nothing goes better, more better, with some beautiful burgers and some grilled onions. Okay. Nothing goes better on a burger than grilled onions, so we're going to let those grill up. And we're going to close them. So now, we're going to prepare the buns. There's a couple reasons for grilling your buns. Nobody likes a soggy bun, and this helps uh, firm it up. So we want to just get a little bit of that oil on there. And again, a little seasoning. Okay. Let's do this up there. I'm afraid of burning them, so I'm going to stick them at the top there, just so I don't uh, mess them up. A little bit of oil. I don't want my onions to burn either. I noticed on Gordon Ramsay's video, it kind of came out a little charred. Well, I'm going to try to avoid that. A little seasoning. A little salt and pepper. Always try to season them on the grill. Again, close it down. Don't want to touch it. Just let them cook up for a while. And uh, as soon as it starts getting brown up the sides and it looks like it's uh, giving up, then we want to flip them. So the burger will tell you when it's ready to be flipped. If it's still sticking to those grates, it's not ready yet. Wait until it gets a nice crust going and then you know it's ready to go. 
I want to watch the bronze too. I don't want to burn those, but I think I'll move them down just to get some nice grill marks. There we go. Okay. We've got some nice organic butter lettuce. We got some locally grown, Peace. nice firm tomatoes. Got some cheddar cheese for my sweetie. She likes cheddar cheese. And I'm going to go with the American cheese. We have some seasoned mayo with a little bit of spicy mustard in there and some butter. Because as soon as we flip those burgers, we're going to baste them with a little bit of butter. Yeah, we're getting nice grill marks on these things now. And then last, it's going to get cool off and get hard. Right. Where's your beer? Okay, those buns look beautiful. Again, a little bit of seasoning. Okay, it looks good. We'll put these together in a minute. Right now we're going to check on the onions. And they're looking good. I'm doing them on the IR side because I, I don't want to burn them. I just want to caramelize them a little bit. Get some nice grilled onion. So if you look at those burgers, I haven't touched them. They're just starting to brown up on the sides, and that's what we're looking for. This one's falling apart a little bit. That's okay. If it falls apart a little bit, that's fine. Don't worry about making it a perfect burger, because all those little nooks and crannies are going to be searing up little spots of deliciousness. Isn't that right, baby? Yep. Hi, Pat. Woo, I am burning up. Use it for the steak. Okay. It's special butter. Uh, what kind of special butter? What's oh, in it? Oh, shit, baby, you're pissed off, huh? <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's it. You're in trouble. There we go. Oh, yeah, look at the onions. The onions are just looking so good. I'm just going to keep a little bit of oil on them just to kind of keep them nice. Okay. Okay, a little salt, a little pepper, always season on the grill, there's two times to season a burger. Just before you put it on the grill, you're letting it sit, and then once it's on the grill. The first seasoning is what gets into the meat, it's what seasons the meat. Second seasoning is what that nice flavor on the outside gets. Then once you, uh, once you flip it. Start getting a little bit of that butter on there. Don't worry about spreading some of that uh, seasoning off. It's all right. I'm supposed to dab it. All right. Dab, schmab. Yeah, I'm just going to get it on there, all right? And why not? A little bit of butter on the onions. I want to keep my onions nice and moist. In fact, they're looking pretty good, so I'm, I'm thinking of taking these things off here soon. What do you think, babe? Do the onions look yeah, right? they look good, babe. Nice and caramelized. All right. Yep, I agree. So I think I'm going to get these things off. Actually, I'm going to move them up to the top. They're going to fall, fall through. Not there you go. I just want to keep them warm. I don't <laughs> want to burn them. I definitely don't want to burn them. All right. Deborah wanted red onions. I was going to use white onions. I know Gordon Gordon uses red onions, but that's all right. Okay, I don't need that side anymore, so I'm just going to turn it down. I'm going to keep this up just about medium-high heat. Turn it down a little bit. 
So I'm letting them burgers continue to cook. Uh, I'm gonna probably butter them one more time, two more times, and make sure the onions don't get dried out and crisp up too much. In fact, I might pull them off here in a minute. Okay, it's been a few minutes. So I'm gonna use my quick read, instant read digital thermometer. Deborah wants hers medium, medium well. I think I'll probably go for the same. So I'm just going to try that out. Okay, it's about 130, 133. I'm going to go a little bit longer because I, I don't trust this thing. Call me superstitious. It's made in China, so I don't know. I'm going to go a little bit more well done. We want our... <laughs> what's wrong? It's made in China. <laughs> well, it's made in China, you know, so I don't know. I'm going to add the fudge factor a couple degrees to it. So today we want our burgers a little bit more well done and so I'm going to go a little bit over 135 facing up pretty well in fact I'm going to add a little bit more salt all right that's probably all it's going to need right now we're going to put on the cheese okay so babe which one do you want uh, the smaller one okay I love American cheese I'm going to turn these down just a little bit I love American and this stuff, you're going to see this. This is, this gets gooey perfection. Excuse me. And I love it. I'm going to go for two pieces. And then Deb, she loves the cheddar. I like cheddar too, but a little ode to uh, Sam the Cooking Guy. He, he's pretty con convinced that American cheese is the best way to go. So, All right. Let's get ready to build our burgers. We're going to take some of our seasoned mayo. And we're going to put just a nice dab on each side of the bun. Okay, you want it, you want it to squish out when you put it together. So don't go stingy on this. Alright, then you're going to take some of that buttered lettuce. You want to break, you want to uh, snap it and get into the size of the bun. go. Alright. Then you want to take the tomato, 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 and you want to cap it off with the tomato. Okay. Again. Seasoning. Salt and pepper. And another little dab. No. Right there. Yeah, oh, baby. God. Okay. Right, first off, we got Debs. There we go. And mine with the American. All right. There we go. Two Gordon Ramsay's ultimate burger tutorial, our version of it. All right, just like I said, we want it well done. There we go. All right, just a little bit of pink in there. That's what we're looking for. Alright, if you like this video, make sure you subscribe, hit the bell button so you get updates, and let us know what you think um, of this burger recipe. Um, I think it tastes great. Gordon Ramsay, you're the man. I think everybody knows that. This is my version of it. And uh, I'd like to see yours, so comment below. Let me know what your burger recipe is. Thank mm -hmm. you.